Hello everybody, my name is Mike Maurer and today in this training video we're going to talk about quick stops. Rapid decelerations or quick stops. During this maneuver we will simulate a condition where a rapid decrease in forward airspeed is required, for example in an aborted takeoff. At Southern Utah University's College of Aerospace Sciences, safety is our top priority. As such, each maneuver has very specific phraseology. This greatly reduces the chances of incorrect control inputs and ensures that everyone in the aircraft is prepared for the maneuver. We begin this maneuver by clearly stating initiating quick stop. All right. All right, initiate that quick stop, lower that collective 12 inches. Position the aircraft into the wind and perform a normal takeoff. Once a minimum altitude of 25 feet is attained, apply additional forward cyclic as needed to accelerate and maintain 40 to 50 knots forward airspeed while maintaining altitude. Begin by smoothly lowering the collective, adding right pedal, and simultaneously applying aft cyclic to start decelerating. The most important thing during this maneuver is to make sure that you're keeping your eyes on the horizon. Apply aft cyclic as needed to maintain entry altitude throughout the deceleration. As airspeed is lost, the helicopter will begin to settle. Slowly increase aft cyclic pressure and collective to control the rate of descent. Once the desired forward airspeed has been reached, level the aircraft by adding forward cyclic. Once the aircraft is in a level attitude, proceed into a steep approach and terminate in a stabilized five-foot hover. If you come too far aft on the cyclic, the helicopter will tend to balloon or gain altitude. If you do not come far enough on the cyclic, the helicopter will tend to sink through your 25-foot altitude limit. It is critical to maintain heading with pedals throughout all phases of the quick stop maneuver. Use caution to avoid terminating at a high hover or in an extreme tail low attitude. It is important to remember common errors while conducting rapid decelerations. One, allowing the aircraft to climb or descend while in the air taxi profile. Two, not maintaining heading upon entry and recovery from the quick stop maneuver. And three, allowing the aircraft to climb when raising the collective or not raising the collective enough to stop the aircraft from settling into a tail low attitude. While practicing quick stops, it is important to remember the performance standards as they apply to your training level. For your private certificate, your heading may not vary by more than 10 degrees, your altitude may not vary by more than 15 feet, and your termination point may not vary by more than 50 feet. For your commercial certificate, your heading may not vary by more than 5 degrees, your altitude by 10 feet, and the termination point by more than 25 feet. Thanks for watching that overview on quick stops. Please look for our other training videos, and I look forward to seeing you soon.